uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today uh, we we will solve uh, this interview question okay so let's start so here this is a nmos we can see and given that the threshold voltage of nmos is 0 0.8 volts and we have to neglect channel length modulation that means the funda is here is zero okay and uh, here we can assume that like we have to find the current through this MOSFET uh, with respect to this VX voltage okay and here we are doing uh, biasing analysis okay biasing analysis right not not for the like like uh, small signal uh, not we are we are not looking for a small signal uh, model okay so uh, so uh, this is like this is a voltage at this node okay this voltage is nothing but the voltage at this node and here we have present a on voltage source and uh, like for this type of uh, uh, problem uh, how we can uh, how we can start here we can see that there is no a uh, there is not present a arrow here okay there is not present a arrow so we cannot say what is the drain and what is the source okay so depending okay so this will be like this so so here drain and source are not mentioned so vx and let's say let's say vx can varies between minus 5 volt to minus 5 volt to 5 volts okay this is the range of vx okay so so and uh, and for, for this type of problem we can uh, see the critical points like what should be the what are the critical points here so we know that when vds is zero of a mosfet then the current uh, like this ix or id is zero right so so let this is now let this is source or drain so if if this terminal voltage is one then the current of this current through this mosfet is zero so the ix is zero so at like at, at this potential it, like if vx is on then the uh, current is zero so we have a we have a critical point of on let's say this is our on volt okay this is on volt so on volt at on volt the current is zero so this will be like this will be like uh, at this at this voltage the current is zero so there will be a point like this okay now uh, and 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 the the current can be zero using other condition that is uh, vgs is less than vtn right so these are two condition where where ix is zero or id is zero right because in this condition the nmos is off so there will be not uh, conduction okay now uh, we can see that if if this voltage is increasing okay uh, increasing uh, and it is greater than one then uh, then uh, like so this 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 terminal will be uh, treated as a drain right this will be this will be acting as drain and this is act, this will be acting as a source right if if this voltage is going to increase uh, greater than one and we know that and we know that uh, okay not 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 greater than one so we, we need to apply this condition if vds is greater equals vgs minus vtn then the then the mosfet is in saturation okay so let let here let we 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 we, we assume this is drain okay so so vd this voltage will be minus one is greater equals vgs is nothing but one volt minus threshold is 0 0.8 right so if if vd is greater equals 1.2 right then the mosfet uh, reaches in saturation region right so like at 1.2 like let's say this is 1.2 okay so at this condition let this will be like graph the mosfet is in saturation then what will be the current current waveform we know that this will be like a constant right if the MOSFET is in saturation, it acts as a constant current source, right? So after that, the cons, cons, current will be constant. And we are assuming channel length modulation is 
like we are neglecting channel length modulation right so at this point the current will be like this right as the mosfet reach in saturation now now if if the voltage is between uh, 1 volt if the vd is between 1 volt and 1.2 volts 1 volt and all, what will be the uh, shape of this waveform and this is like this will be this become okay at this condition the the vds is greater than vgs minus vtn right so this the like at this region the mosfet uh, reaches in line, linear region right or triad region we know that and we know that at in in the triad region the current waveform is like a really uh, linear right so this will be like this right this is the our triad region so the current waveform will be like this we know that as in this region the uh, in this region like in in this region the mosfet acts as a resistance right or after that in this region at at saturation the mosfet acts as a current source right now if 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 the vd like if this vx voltage is lower than one or in negative then what will be on like what will be the picture okay let me draw now now our vd is less than one okay then what will be the case if vd is less than one so our this will be the drain right and this will be our source as this pot potential is higher than this potential is higher than this potential okay so our our this point become drain and this point becomes source become source when our vx value is less than one right so we know that now uh, we have to find at hot region like at this condition uh, the mosfet remains in which regions okay now our vd is on voltage right when our vx when our vx is less than on volt then our the uh, like this voltage this voltage is our vt now so our vd is like this now if our now our vds is nothing but vds is nothing but like this is the drain on minus something okay on minus something like on minus less than one okay we can see that right on minus less than one so so as uh, yes this is our uh, this is our source and this is our drain this is on voltage fixed and our vgs vgs minus vtn what will be the value our vg is 2 volt s is nothing but this will be minus 1 and our 0 0.8 volt right so this will be like this will like this will be like this right now if if this voltage if this on voltage is reaching to 0 and then minus 1 minus 2 to minus 5 this this value will increase right so this this overdrive voltage this overdrive voltage will increase and we can see that the vds is less than less than this overdrive voltage so like then what is the region of this mosfet so this will be in li, li, this will be in triad region right triad or li, linear region right so after like if the vd is less than one after the vd is less than one the mosfet is in uh, triad region so what will be the uh, waveform of this this will be nothing but like this right what like this is a negative current right because when the vx is less than one current is flowing through this path okay so the, the so the current will be negative right this is our minus is right so when the vx is less than one then this is acting as a source as this is acting a, uh, so, sorry this is acting as a drain and this is acting as a source so the current is flowing in this path okay so let let this is our five volts and this is our minus five volts so this will be like this right and we can see that at vx equal to zero 
let's say this is vx equal to zero so the current is flowing through this path and we can find this current as well and we know that the current is nothing but let ix equal to half into mu 1 cox w by l vgs minus vtn okay and this will be the like e, 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 if this is this is zero right if this is zero then this is nothing but our and and this is drain and this is nothing but our source so this will be nothing but as source is zero here in this condition okay let, let me write here so this will be this will be nothing but half into let's this is a beta factor into vg vgs right so vg is nothing but two volts and s is nothing but zero volt right we are making at this condition okay in at vx equal to zero so this will be nothing but minus zero minus zero point eight whole square so this will be the current at this at this point okay so this current is like this okay and this will be the wave shape and we have we have also find that the uh, the diode uh, the transistor uh, remains in re linear region at this point as well right on to uh, 1 volt to 1.2 volt so this will be like this so this is the this is the final waveform okay so and and if we consider now if we consider let's channel length modulation so the 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 waveform will be like this right here the lambda is greater zero lambda is greater zero and here the lambda is equals zero right so this is the final waveform now one thing one thing now if if our circuit is like this same question this is two volt this is one volt and this is our vx and this is our this is our vx and this is our ix then what what should be the what should be the waveform the waveform will remain same but here this is fixed like if, if this arrow sign is denoting this is fixed at source this is source okay and this is drain so the waveform will look like this so we, we, we like this is this is a fixed source okay this arrow arrow sign is denoting this is source so this will be our waveform okay this will be our waveform okay and and no need to no need to draw the negative current okay so you can directly draw this draw this okay so this is this is zero right so this will be the waveform okay and let me check if i if i did right or wrong let me check here okay so you you, you 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 can think of this okay so this is basically a very good interview question i believe so you you, you, you can try try from from your side okay so yes thank you